said hawk to and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> What goes T? It's 11 in the palm of my hand Crazy bright light, power that I stand So I light like no other, it's a beast When I use this light, I feel like a feast This light is insane It's a must have What goes T? It's 11, never thought of fame It's a pocket thrower that's made the grave Crazy bright ass light, you know it's true For the value you get It's a steal Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jim here, and I'm excited to bring out to you another awesome flashlight review, this time from Workos. Now, for those unfamiliar with Workos, they are the sister company to Sofern, and I think you guys know by now how much I enjoy my Sofern lights. Absolutely love them. They've been nothing but high quality, great performers, and extreme values. Here, you're getting a 2,000 lumen light that's over 90,000 candela with 616 meters of throw. That is 2,020 feet, my friend. The whole point of this light is to have a mighty thrower in a smallish package. The big surprise to me was that it's running off Anduril 2. Now, I'm not going to get off into the weeds with how to operate Anduril 2 and how to do the, the, the blinkies and how to do the RGB auxiliary lights and things like that because, honestly, that could take 20 minutes just talking about programming different modes in Anduril 2. There are a ton of videos here on YouTube to cover it, quite honestly, better than I would. So I would direct you to do a search for Anduril 2 here on YouTube, and you'll find many wonderful instructional videos. Here, I just want to talk about this particular light. Now, I've got mine set in disco mode just because it's fun. I will tell you this, disco mode absolutely obliterates the battery life. As a matter of fact, I have to change or charge, I should say, the battery on this three times more often than I do on this. And it's the, the same basic premise, same basic idea as far as the, the, the draw, I guess, that there is. But anyway, because I have this set up for my switch lights and for the auxiliaries in the head just like this, but I don't typically run this on disco, so I'm assuming it's the disco that makes it go quicker. Last time I set this, I actually had it on the mode where it tells you how much battery life you have left by the color of the LEDs that are showing, and that still drained out before my beautiful MSR here had even gotten down to half battery life. So. There's something about this light that it just, it gets drained super quickly. Just want to make sure you are aware of that. Okay. Now, maybe I missed it in their promotions and advertising, but I didn't know that it had Anduril 2, and I didn't know that it had all the different RGB modes. And I got to say, that made it just a little bit more fun for me to have. Yeah, the auxiliary modes don't do much for you. They're, they're good for a locator so that you can find your light if you dropped it in the dark or if you have it laying, I don't know, on your nightstand and it's dark. It helps you find the light a lot more easily, but you don't really need all the different modes that there are, but it's fun. And quite honestly, half the reason I have most of my lights is the fun factor. I want performance, I want quality, I want value, but I also want fun. And this certainly covers that without being ridiculous, crazy, and over the top. Now inside you have an SFT40 emitter, and then you have six RGB LEDs all in the head. And then of course you have more RGBs. I think there's three if I'm not mistaken, but there's more RGBs in the switch as well. Ah, oh, this thing is so cool. Now, you've got an 18350 battery. I just want to go ahead and show that to you. 
So you have a pretty short little light with a big fat head on it. Pop that back in there. Now keep in mind that you can choose to remove the battery and charge it, or you can simply charge it through the light. Oop, pulled up the wrong side with this USB-C port. And of course you will get the USB-C charging cable in the packaging as well. You have 2000 lumens. You have the customizable Anduril 2 for the user interface. The one SFT40, that is a cool white LED. I didn't see any listing for what the actual uh, color is. Honestly, to me, it looks 5,500 to 6,000. I could be wrong. I'm not a uh, scientific instrument, so it's impossible to know that for certain, but I think it is. Here's the Candela, 94,750. That's nuts. You have an IP68 waterproof rating, and it's a one meter impact resistance, so it's fairly tough. Now, for those that are going to carry this in their pocket, you want to know about the lockout. One, two, three, four is going to be your lockout. You'll get a little flash to let you know that you have locked it out. And then one, two, three, four will unlock it and turn it on. And then you have your graduating steps. I shouldn't say steps, I should say ramp. Now you could set it to steps if you prefer steps over the ramp mode. Again, you want to look up the operating instructions for Anduril 2, which yes, you do get a diagram in your packaging, but good luck reading it. I mean, it is the tiniest diagram, tiniest print I've ever seen. But yes, you can carry this safely in your pocket by doing a four press lockout or carry it in a bag or backpack or however you're choosing to carry it. You've also got a lanyard opening here so you can tie off a lanyard to it. No pocket clip is available for this, unfortunately. But honestly, once you get this in hand, you'll realize that you're not gonna carry this in the pocket anyway. The diameter of the head is so large that it's not going to be comfortable carrying it in that manner. So I think the most important thing for us to do right now is to get outside and see how this bad boy performs. Now, I didn't have access to the area that I typically go to, which gives me a lot of distance to throw light, but I think you're gonna get a good enough idea just from where I'm at and, and how this thing is just, it's just tossing the light out there like crazy. I mean, it's not like an LEP or anything, but for a small handheld LED light, this has an impressive amount of throw, especially for the price. The price is, in my opinion, absurdly low. And that's something that Workos and their sister company, Sofern, do so well. And if you're looking to save even more money, I have a link for you in the description down below and there will be a coupon code that you can use to save even more. Because I like you guys. You're cool. You're fun. So I like to do things for you. All right, now it's about time to get outside and see how she performs. All right, here we go. Let's see what this thing can do at night. Let's get this turned on. Very quickly, a little display of how it works when you're using the battery display on the LEDs lets you know your state of charge. Now using this in a smaller outdoor area, you see it does actually have a little bit of flood to it, lights up the area all the way around you. And a lot of pocket throwers or a lot of throwers in general don't have that capability. A lot of times just gonna be that strong focused hotspot and you don't get a lot of spill around it to allow you to see around you in your immediate surroundings. Now as displayed there, looks like I need to charge my battery just a little bit. Now taking this to a different area that's a little bit more remote and there's some larger widespread areas 
we can get a better sense for the distance that this beam is actually going to shoot out to. And I gotta tell you, for such a tiny little pocket-sized or palm-sized light, it is an impressive amount of throw. And in a few minutes, I wanna go ahead and give it a comparison against an LEP, which is what you expect to punch out the best and be the ultimate choice for a long range thrower. Let's see how they look compared side by side. So here is the TS-11 throwing out a darn good distance. It's really, really quite impressive for its diminutive size. Still lighting up a good area around me in the close-up, in the foreground, and then throwing that light far out there. And here we go, comparing it against a small LEP. This is a brand new model being offered exclusively by and for NeilsGadgets.com. And this little thing is utterly insane. This is a little 14500 or AA sized battery LEP that is unbelievably powerful. And yet the TS-11 really holds its own up against an LEP, which to me is damn impressive. As powerful as this next light is, the Silfern SC33, it just doesn't hold a candle because even though this is 5200 lumens, it's not made strictly for throw. It's a lot of spread out wall of light. Thank you as always for joining me and I'll see you on the next video.